Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see from the title, I am going to review a weighted sleep sack for babies and toddlers. So this company that is called Dreamland Baby has reached out to me and wanted to send me one of their sleep sacks in exchange for an honest review. So here we are. Uh, I have used this sleep sack for about a month, close to a month now. And I do have to say that I'm pretty surprised with the results. So if you're a mom, a dad, or just a parent wanting more sleep and mainly wanting your baby to sleep more i mean obviously they need to sleep as well stay tuned and i'm gonna tell you all about my experience with the weighted sleep sack after a month of use so the company is called uh, dreamland baby i am just gonna give you a little general background on the company uh, you can obviously read more about it i am gonna go ahead and leave the link down below to their website you can go in and go into the about us and read all the background on the company and how they got started but mainly it is a mom found company it was a very sleep deprived mom that desperately needed her baby to sleep better at night so she came up with the idea of a weighted uh, sleep sack for her baby after that she went into shark tank and that's when she made a deal and i guess that's when her sleep sacks went into the stores and that's how we all know now the weighty sleep stack so they have a couple different options they have a newborn swaddle they have the toddler with the arms out sleep sack that's the one that i am going to talk about and then they have a toddler blanket so just a quick overall on the ordering and the shipping of the item it was great i had no problems the shipping was actually pretty fast uh it came in this bag and of course this bag inside another bag but uh, it comes in this little bag and um, it comes with your uh, care instructions in there and uh, just uh, about the weighted sack and what to expect uh, they also have a quick little diagram on how to put it on and then a quick little background on the company on the back of the bag so this is the sack that i chose this is a size large um, so I wanted one that uh, would grow with my baby and I chose this color. I have a little girl. So the weighted part is on the front of the sleep sack. The back is just fabric. What I do love about it, it is that it has a double zipper so you can unzip it from the bottom for quick and easy diaper changes at night. And of course you can unzip it from the top to be able to slip your baby into the sack. It also has a zipper cover at the top, so the zipper doesn't rub against your baby's either chin or chest uh, or neck, so uh, that's great. Also, it is machine washable and um, it was great. I had no problem washing it or drying it. And what I did is that I turned the sack inside out. Uh, that's what the recommended care instructions uh, said so what I did is just turn it inside out just like that I closed the zipper all the way and then just put it in your washing machine all right now so moving on now to my actual own experience with the weighted sleep sack so when I first got the sleep sack I actually thought it was like this is very heavy to put on my baby to be honest with you but I was actually weighing it like this okay so you're like okay yeah this is heavy just for my hand like that but if you open the sleep sack and let's say you put just your hand under one area because that's basically how it's gonna go like your baby is laying and it's not gonna have the whole thing on their chest so if you just grab like one area and you put your hand underneath that is not heavy at all like just to have it evenly distributed on your body so that's exactly what they do they have the weighted part of the sack evenly distributed from the shoulders to their toes uh, so that's actually excellent what the weighted part of it does is it actually increases serotonin and melatonin while decreasing cortisol you can obviously do your own research and decide if this is the way to go for you and your baby but there's plenty of background and research on the benefits of wearing a weighted blanket to sleep it actually helps you to fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer so of course like anything new that you introduce to your baby you have to give them a few days for them to adjust to the change so that's what we did a little background on my baby she wasn't sleeping much at night she was sleeping um, maybe one and a half hours sometimes two sometimes three uh, the most so of course she is teething and they can also have gas and there could be a million reasons why they're waking up at night 
but when we first started using it she was more consistent on sleeping more like three hours at the beginning so i would say like every three hours which is basically how often she feeds during the day so she was actually sleeping those three hours which is a great improvement from one and a half hours obviously so from the beginning we saw some improvement and at that time she was also teething very badly so it could also be part of it why she was waking up but after that uh, we started seeing that time period increasing so she went from like three hours to then more like five hours and then consistently doing like six to seven hours um, and just waking up like once at night feeding and then going back for another like four hours of sleep and I'll show you guys because I have an app that I log all her sleep in it but most consistent sleep that I've seen is the almost six to seven hours then waking up for a feed and then going back for another four hours and both times she was wearing the weighted sleep sack now I can only tell you my experience at night because during the day she loves to sleep on me so I can't really tell you about naps but I mean I'm sure it will work the same way just make sure that they're in a dark room with their white noise uh, sound machine on and uh, of course you want to make a sleep friendly environment and let them wear something comfortable like PJs and then put the sleep sack on just like you would do at night but I can't really tell you my experience uh, with naps because she really doesn't sleep in her crib during the day, unfortunately. But, um, but at night, yes, we have seen an improvement. So just keep in mind that um, after that, I did see a regression again. But again, they could go through a leap and she's teething again. Um, so keep everything in mind. Um, you can't just say this works or it doesn't work. Also, every baby and every toddler is absolutely different. We're all individuals and unique. So what works for me, it might not work for you or your baby. So if you do your research and you feel like you will benefit from it, go ahead and try it. I mean, there's nothing that you can lose. Uh, we all need that sleep at night and to be able to function and be able to care for our babies during the day, we need to sleep. So um, I was willing to try this and we actually saw great results. Um, so yes, I am going to keep using it and we're gonna get through the teething and all the gas pain and uh, everything in between. But yeah, actually very happy with it, um, happy with the product and so a little bit more information about the stack. Um, it is very well made, um, the stitching and everything uh, the zipper, very good quality, uh, doesn't get stuck at all, going up or down. It does say that you can wear the sack uh, towards the front or the back. If you have a back sleeper or a face down sleeper, so you can put the weighted part of it on the front or on the back of the baby. The other thing that I was concerned about is with the weighted feature, would my baby be able to move around because my baby is moving around and turning to both sides uh, even though she's not crawling she does scooch around the whole house so um i was concerned to see if she was going to be able to move around in her crib with the weighted feature and she is she can certainly move around without a problem she's able to uh, kind of lift her head and with her arms so the weight part of it is not restricting her movement at all which is great if you're concerned about that because I was so uh, but it's not it doesn't restrict her at all again like I said the weight is uh, like evenly distributed throughout the entire sack so you're not gonna feel the entire weight of the sack like this on like one area but yeah the other thing that I did notice is that um, I find the transition I'm a breastfeeding mom so um, after I breastfeed her and she most of the time falls asleep on me and then I have to move her to the crib, I find the transition from my arms to the crib a lot easier with this weighted sleep sack. Why? Because when I put her down, the weight kind of feels like I'm still holding her or she feels that pressure that she's still on my arms, but she really isn't. So that's great. She doesn't really wake up or lift her head to see if I'm right next to her. So that part, I absolutely love. I feel like she doesn't wake up as she used to when I was transitioning from my arms to the crib. So if that's something that you're going through uh, when you have to transfer your baby to the crib and they wake up, I have to say that the weighted stack has really helped her staying asleep throughout that transfer. And it does say in the bag that they do recommend using for a minimum of three to five days 
to give the baby time to adjust to the sack, just like I mentioned. And then sleep improvement can take up to seven days. All right, guys, I think I told you everything about my experience, the way to sleep sack. I hope this information can help you or a friend or a family uh, that is in need for some sleep at night. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and feel free to share my video with your friends and family. And like I said, I will leave the link down below if you want to check the company out if you're in the market for a sleep sack for your little one. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again on my next one. Bye.